Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? Well, you can do so simply by clicking subscribe right here. Click the settings button, and if you would like to get emails every time a new video goes live, just hit the send me updates, hit save, and you are good to go. Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Don Common, before we jump into the five minute portrait, do you ever have those days or those times or photo shoots where you felt that you've just been lazy? Where you haven't given, not that you haven't given your all, you were just lazy and mistakes happened. Well, that's exactly what happened in this five minute portrait with Maria. Uh, I felt like I did a terrible job. And because I did a terrible job and was lazy and just did certain things, I actually lost the raw files. Now, that was a freak accident where uh, I had video on the card and I didn't actually shoot with two memory cards in the D4 like I normally do. So what I was doing over a couple days, I was showing people the video on the card, I transferred the video to the computer and I never transferred the raw files from the card. And then when I went to transfer the raw files on the card, the card would not be read. I couldn't read it on my laptop, couldn't read it in my computer. So those raw files, the pictures from the port five minute portrait that you're about to see were gone. So how did I get them back? Well, I didn't get the raw files back, but with a recovery software, I was able to somehow get JPEGs, which I don't save in, but the JPEGs were somehow recoverable. So the fact that it was, I was able to mess up and still get those JPEGs available for what we were using them for, which the photo shoot was about getting a thumbnail for her workout videos, so they weren't for anything major, which is never a good excuse anyway, but it's not an excuse to be lazy. But what I can tell you is that it was a good wake up call. I am glad that it happened. It's terrible that it happened, but I'm glad that it happened on a shoot like this and not a full on professional photo shoot that I was doing for a client and getting paid. So things that I'm taking from this are be prepared with multiple cards in the camera because I have that option. So do people with the D7000 and D7100. Uh, transfer them right away and make sure they're double backed up as much as possible onto the computer. Uh, and just be more prepared for doing the shoot that I was doing. So that's it, guys. This was a five minute portrait with Maria to get those thumbnails for YouTube. So take a look, enjoy it, and thank you guys very much. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com here with Maria. Hi, Maria, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. We were filming some fitness videos. She wanted to film some of those for some YouTube, and we had some awesome light coming in about an hour and a half ago that was really looking good, but we're now done shooting what we were shooting for her videos, and I thought we would do a quick five-minute portrait. I'm using the D7000 today because the D800's out with Steven right now, so hopefully it still looks good, but this is going to be a five-minute portrait. We've got Kino Flow lights. We've got some Westcott TD6s. Oh man, those Kino Flows look beautiful. Those lights are so, so nice, but we're going to mix the ambient with these uh, continuous lights. We'll see what we'll do. Just want to get a couple of promo shots for Maria that can be good for, uh, say, thumbnails here on YouTube. So Maria, let's do the five minute portrait. So let's just try a shot. I've gone to 800 ISO um, at about 1 25th of a second at four or five. This should work. Put your, yeah, I like where your leg's at. Uh, I'm using the D4 with the 14, sorry, the 24 to 70. Let's see how this looks. I don't want to take multiple shots. Let me slow that down. I only want to do singles. All right. So, wow, they don't look bad at all. They look pretty good. But I want to drop to 400 because I want to try to mix more of that ambient light in here. Uh, I want to get more in. So that means I just went down a whole stop. I'm going to go to about an 80th of a second at 4.5. Right there, Maria. Let's see how that looks. Let's see if that's better. Do I like that or do I like that? Oh, they're pretty similar. It all depends on angle. So I'm just going to focus here on shooting and stop worrying about the darn camera. All right, yeah, lean in on the hand a little bit. That's it. Hold it. Like this would be a great thumbnail photo. Right there. That's it. Put your hands on your, uh, lean in on, yeah, 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 yeah. Cross your, yeah, there you go. And eyes right up here. Take a look, should be good. Boom! I want some more ambient in there. I'm gonna actually bump my ISO back to 640 and leave everything else the same. I wanna to try to get the fitness ball in here. I like the, the feel of the wide shot.
right there, hold it. So we got that. These should look better. Yeah, we're darn close. Are you standing up? Standing up. All right, let's get rid of your blue balls. Here, blue ball over there. Do the, the knee thing so you can put your hand on your hip. Uh, this one. Uh, that's standing up, but all right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to work around this light. It's like straight on. Cross your arms. There you go. Now, generally, I may want to shoot these a little tighter, but actually, I'm going to do that, do this. But I like what's going on. We're going to just play with the 24 to 70, which means I have to get in closer. There you go. Just hold that. Keep the other pose you had. Everything should look good there. Right there, and then hold this for a little bit. Boom. Boom. And the goal with this is to try to get the clouds in the background and everything stay in there. See? Nice. So let's keep going with that. I want to give them an extreme close up with this camera. <laughs> I hope it's not looking down your shirt. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. I hope it's not. I wasn't looking, it was the camera, it wasn't me. There you go, right there. Yep, hold it. It's like rough and tumble with the... Uh... Let's go full wide here. I mean, that should look good. Hold it, keep it, keep it, keep it. We're going to do this. This makes you look extreme. See? That's extreme. Hi, camera! <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. Working around these lights isn't normal for me. Straight on, straight on. Cross your arms again. Boom. So if the goal here is to get some good shots for for thumbnails, because thumbnails are really important. Put your hair back, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. Go. We're doing thumbnails, so they'd be more horizontal. I need that other hand. See, I like all the extra light coming in. All right, right here, right, yep, chin down again. These will be very interesting thumbnails. Relax, I'm not trying to scare you. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you. I mean, they will be good thumbnails. Nice. They're gonna grab people, because I mean, it has a little, <laughs> it's the sports bra, I told you what the sports bra is gonna do. It's a bit relax, because now I've freaked you out. I don't want to freak you out. I want you to be <laughs> relaxed. And I don't want people leaving comments, Jared's freaking her out. No. You're good. Put the hands up on the hips. Smile. Turn the chin this way. And I want you to smize. We got to tell her, so you just slightly squint slightly, but they're not really squints, but straight on. Do it straight on. Let's see it. No, I don't like it. Just keep it normal like you normally do. But smile. All right, cross your arms. There you go. Yeah, lean the head back just a little bit like you were going to do. All right, hold that. We're going to keep doing for the thumbnails. Yes, you hear a lot of beeping people because that's how I like to do it. Um, put the hands back on the hips again. Yeah, that way we're going to look right through the camera. All right. Let's see. Mm-hmm, I think we got it. 
See, I like this look. I like that one. Yeah, that one's nice. All right. Um, hmm. I guess that's maybe almost five minutes. Well, should we stop? Let's keep going. Oh, you want to keep going now? <laughs> um, do the do the kneel, the kneeling thing that we were doing when we were making some videos, and it looked good. But it was it was just like one hand, wasn't it? It's kind of like the beach pose. But I like it with the rest in there. I want to go ultra wide. There we go. These are cool for thumbnails too. Right there, and hold that one. I'm leaving an extra room. Hold it. That, that was fine right there. Yep, put the arm back up. There you go, second one. Smile. Yep, hold it. Just hold that for a little bit. Let me take a look. And all this is with the seven, 24 to 70. I think we look good. Yeah. I'm right. done. We're going we're gonna to be done. All right, so that's it, guys. That's a, it's a quick five-minute portrait. Just because Maria wanted to make some videos, she's got a message for you after this. Some uh, audio or some videos is going to play. Check out her channel. Go ahead and subscribe. She's going to make some fitness videos. We'll see how they are. Let's see if she can make as many as me. I've got 1,410. I don't know. It's going to take a while. All right, guys. That's <laughs> it. Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com. See ya. So, push up. This is actually an assistant push up. It's going to give you the same results as a push up like you do in a plank. This time we're going to have our knees on the floor. We're going to have your hands stacked underneath your shoulders. Okay, so you don't want them out like this. You don't want them too wide. Here, okay? Chin and head up. Bring it down all the way up. Two, see how my chest is in between my hands? Keep it like that. Three, four, I'm gonna breathe out. So you went to 12 of those. All right, so that's push up. Or if you, you know, you wanna take it to a plank, you can. Here, chest in between the hands, hands uh, underneath the shoulders. Keeping your back, back flat. You don't want to be like this or like that. All right, back flat. Go head up, down, all the way up. Okay. <laughs> so that's a push up. Get to it. Three sets of 12. I hope you enjoyed that five minute portrait. And if you did, there's another two that you can click on. Click on this one up here to see the one with Sarah. And right here, we have another one with Maria. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do so down here. Just click on the subscribe button. You can be notified whenever new videos go live. There you go. Enjoy. Click away. This way.